Welcome to the Noreen Real Falcone Library How to Use ProQuest tutorial. This video will show you how to use ProQuest databases to do research for your classes. ProQuest can be used for both multidisciplinary and subject specific research. To access ProQuest, go to lemoyne.edu slash library and click the Databases tab. You can find ProQuest by browsing the databases beginning with P or by searching for it by name in the search bar. Either way, there will be several entries for ProQuest since ProQuest publishes many different databases. ProQuest Central is a multidisciplinary database. It contains a variety of sources, including journal articles, newspapers, and government documents. Since it is multidisciplinary, it is a useful database for interdisciplinary topics like gender studies, or if you're not sure where to start researching. Then there are individual ProQuest databases focused on narrower subject areas, such as business. You would use ProQuest All Databases to search every ProQuest database at once. Additionally, the subject guides for your classes may recommend specific ProQuest databases. For this example, we'll use ProQuest Central since it's a multidisciplinary database. Once you know how to perform a search in one ProQuest database, you'll be able to use them all. Once you're on the ProQuest Central homepage, click Advanced Search. The Advanced Search tool has more features than the Basic Search. These features give you more control over your search, so your results will be more relevant to your needs. Type your search terms in the boxes provided. To make sure the database searches for a phrase with the words together, instead of each word separately, put the phrase in quotations. Click Add a Row to add additional search boxes. This drop-down menu changes how your search terms are connected to each other. If it's set to AND, your search will only return documents that contain both terms. So here, my search will only return documents that contain both the term climate change and the term environmental damage. If it's set to OR, it will return documents that contain either term as well as documents that contain both terms. Here, my search will return documents that contain the words climate change, documents that contain the words environmental damage, and documents that contain both terms. These limiters, called Boolean operators, are especially helpful for complicated searches. In this case, the default of AND will be most useful. This drop-down menu limits each search box to a specific field. If it's set to anywhere, the database will look for your search terms everywhere in the document. But if it's set to document title, the database will only look for your search terms in the title of each source. So this search would only return documents with these words in the title. You can use this feature to search for sources by specific authors. It's a useful tool to make sure your search returns sources by a certain person instead of sources about that person. This dropdown can also be limited to subject headings. Every database assigns subject headings to its sources. They are terms that describe what a source is about. In this case, I'm going to stick with the default anywhere. Once you've finished setting up your search terms, click Search. Now you can browse your search results. You can sort your results by publication date or by relevance. This sidebar contains filters that you can use to narrow down your search results. Click the Peer Reviewed checkbox to limit your search results to peer reviewed texts. Clicking this checkbox, which will limit your results to sources that ProQuest has in full text, is not recommended. This limiter might seem useful, but there are many ways to access the full text of sources that aren't available in ProQuest. Checking this box might cause you to miss valuable resources. The source type filter lets you limit your results to different types of sources, like scholarly journals, books, or newspapers. 
The Publication Date filter lets you specify the publication date of your results. You can set your date range with the slider, or you can click Enter a Date Range to set a more specific range. If you're having trouble, you can use this chat box to talk to a librarian. The left side of each search result shows what type of source it is. For example, a scholarly journal or a research report. The right side of each search result shows whether ProQuest has the full text of the item available or just the abstract and a citation. When you find a source you want to read, such as this journal article, click the title. If the source is available in full text, you will often be able to read it directly from this page or download it as a PDF. Some full text sources, specifically newspaper articles, will appear in plain text. Most features on this page exist for all articles, whether or not they are available in full text. Clicking Cite will open a pop-up window with citations for that source in a variety of styles. This is a useful tool, but make sure to double check your citations just to be safe. Clicking all options opens a different pop-up showing all the options for saving the source. One of these options is the source's stable URL. Use this URL if you need to get back to the source, whether for your own research or for a citation. The details tab, which is labeled the abstract slash details tab on journal articles, will take you to a page with more information about the source including its subject headings. If you find a source that's perfect for your topic, these subject headings are a useful way to find similar resources. Clicking on one of these subject headings will open a search of every document in the database with that same subject heading. Or you can search for multiple subject headings at the same time using the search with indexing terms tool. Click the checkbox next to each subject heading you want to use then click search to bring up a search of every document in the database with those subjects. The related items sidebar is another useful tool for finding similar sources. If a source isn't available in full text through ProQuest, you can find it in full text elsewhere using the full text options box. If the source is available in full text through another database at the library, this link will either take you directly to the article or to a page that looks like this, where you will need to click through this link in order to access the document. If the article isn't available in full text through the library, you will be taken to this screen instead where you can click Request Item using Interlibrary Loan to put in an ILL request for the article. To learn more about requesting items through Interlibrary Loan, you can watch a video tutorial. Go to resources.library.lemoyne.edu backslash guides backslash tutorials and click on How to Request Materials using Interlibrary Loan. While some aspects of ProQuest may look slightly different depending on which databases you're using, the search process will be the same for all databases. If you need any help, remember, you can use the chat box embedded in ProQuest to chat with a librarian. Or visit us at resources.library.lemoyne.edu slash ask us to talk to a librarian by chat, email, text, or appointment for 24-7 support.